In last lecture, we saw how to do transformers using pipeline feature of the Hugging Face library. Now let's take a look behind that pipeline so that we can customize that solution to improve its quality. These libraries, when we use the ready-made solutions, we get a general starting point which has been trained on the entire internet's data, you know, whatever the data sets which has been chosen. It is not a specific use case intelligence. So what we can do is we can start with this as a seed and on further build, you know, change this, you know, nascent intelligent API, AI into a lot better intelligent API for our specific problem. We could give a specific data to learn from or we could do specific optimizations to the model based on the problem we are uh, facing in our solution. So many anything we could do. So we start with this. It gives us a good starting point and then we customize it because all of the source code is present in a single file in Hugging Face. That is what Hugging Face does. That's the philosophy Hugging Face follows. That is why it has become so much easy for anyone to get started with any, you know, solving any problem. The everything until now is done for us. A starting point of a solution, 70% accuracy, 60% accuracy, that is done. We just need to improve on top of it. So if you master this, there is low barrier to entry to solutions and there is infinite creativity possible and infinite power possible for those who master it. So it's an amazing thing to learn. <laughs> so let's take a look behind the pipeline. In short, the pipeline is made up of just three things. These numbers, they have to be clear in your mind. First is tokenizer. Second is model. Third is post-processing of the model's output. <laughs> That's what we have. We always have first tokenizer, second model, third output. So if something says model shape uh, error, then we know that because it is related to model, it is in the second uh, part of the pipeline. If we say key word can't be converted or something, then we know it is in tokenizer because tokenizer takes word and converts it to number. Model takes in that number, whatever it may be, includes meaning of the word in that number and then further gives it to model head who is a decision maker. So it's a weird architecture words but these are the terms which are used and you know just draw analogies and understand this vocabulary and language of uh, NLP. Okay. Tokenizer takes in word uh, you know and a unique word is mapped to its specific unique number. So numerical conversion of the sentences. Then what does model do? Model takes the word and converts that word into a vector. But that vector also contains its meaning. How does it do? We'll come to it later. And then once we have some a vector which contains the meaning of the word, and then we process all the words given because now we have meaning of all the words, right? So we process all of them, combine all of them, understand all of them and then model head makes the decision. So model head is the decision maker. So kind of like our head has our brain which makes the decision and you know everyone sends the data signals to the head for processing. Same way this model embedding converts it to meaning then we have something and then final decision maker, we have the model head. Okay. So, and that output processor. Let's take a look at these details. First, tokenizer. So, let me execute this. I'm importing import transformers. Why? Because everything we need can be found out by saying transformers dot. So instead of remembering what all to import, I have found most people do from transformers import whatever thing they want. So let's say bird config or something. They keep on importing stuff 
I think uh, it's a lot better to just import transformers and you write the code like this. So no need to import, no need to remember. Everything is done in one shot. Okay. The only side effect of this is we, you know, have a tiny bit increase in RAM usage, but that's fine. Okay. So let's see. What is a tokenizer? Step number one. We saw three-step pipeline. First point is tokenizer. It is pre-processing of data so that we can pass it to model. What does it do? It takes words and converts them to uh, unique uh, uh, num numbers. So let me say, I love you so much. I hate you. And let's say you. We have, you know, these words here. Okay. So after I execute this, what the fuck? Now, what is tokenizer? Everything in transformers is at the base level itself. So transformers dot auto tokenizer, if you say, it will give you a tokenizer which is instantiated automatically. If you say transformers dot auto model, the same thing will be done for the model. So it's the standard API transformer uses. And then it also uses the standard function from pre-trade. So I want to get from a pre-trained models its tokenizer and initialize it automatically. So the checkpoint is I've given is bird base cased. You know, just one checkpoint. Why bird? We have GPT or bird. Two foundational approaches in LLM. You know, we saw that in uh, previous lectures. So I create a tokenizer and then to this tokenizer, I give my input as input. I love you so much. I hate you. And then final word is you. So I execute this and I print out the mapped number. So first is I love you so much. Take a look at here. It is converted into this number. All three sentences have a word common, which is you. If you check in all of these three things, there is a number common, which is 1128. So you see, you can then looking at these numbers easily understand that starting of the sentence is given this number 101. Ending of sentence is given this number 102. Each word is mapped to a unique number and that's what I said tokenizer was. So tokenizer is a word to a number mapping. Okay, so if you want to check in more detail, this is how it kind of like looks. I have printed it, you know, just by writing some chindi python code. Or you can look at it as a, this thing. So maybe I should have said this as what we can. Oops. Anyways, so uh, doing it in format, we, we see the one to one mapping. I gets mapped to 146. Here also, I gets mapped to 146. Hi gets mapped to 20844. I think I changed the word here. Here I used you and here it is different, but that's fine. So this is what tokenizer is. We saw in simple words, it takes a word, maps it to a number. Then we pass that number to model. And now model is a very complicated thing. And we use a already trained model so that we don't reinvent the wheel. The model is made up of a few things which we have to know. Okay, first thing, the model has a hidden state size or a hidden layer size or we can call it feature map. What it is, is it can, takes the given data and extracts it into all its sub features. That is what a model does, the, this beginner part. It is a feature extractor. It is a feature extractor from the data. And those all of those extracted features 
that is what a hidden state represent anything in between is a intermediate result but the hidden state is all the extracted features okay then it goes to head okay so what is head it takes in all the hidden states extracted and just gives a decision so it's like if you have played god of war there are three heads on the screen right now if you have played god of war we have Bimir. If you have played uh, Harry Potter, uh, read or played Harry Potter, we have nearly headless lick and we have my floating head. Uh, so it is a decision maker, but based on whatever the data has been given to it. It does not do the feature extraction. It only makes decision from whatever the given knowledge was to it. So. It is head is that's why interchangeable. We can take one head and install another head which has different decision making because of this encapsulation. Head, whatever head needs to make decision that is given in the hidden state. So we make our models portable and this decision maker based on whatever problem I have in my use case, we can just, you know, change it. And then we take that output and convert it into a format we understand. So let's take a look at that in code. In model, uh, it the code is exactly same as tokenizer. We have transformers dot auto model and then dot from pre-trained word case. So you see, if you want to get model automatically instantiated from a pre-trained weights. Simply specify the checkpoint just like tokenizer and you get a general model. Here, if you want to do sentiment classification, then uh, we have specific models for that use case. So we just specify that and we get a specific model. Just a second. Okay. So we are done with tokenizer. I have created two models, a general model and a classification model. A classification model is a model for only classification. A general model is a model which is general for different problems. Why am I specifying, emphasizing only the, you know, uh, problem thing? Because of the head. Classification model has a head corresponding only to classification. It will not give us a, a more general output, but a general model will give us, you know, the output of, you know, the rest of the things as well in this previous diagram, embedding layers, hidden state and blah, blah, blah. So it's quite important for us to, you know, understand this lingo terms. So I take model classification and I print its output and it's this output. Converting this output, which is like, you know, uh, two numbers, you know, for us to understand this, we convert it into a, this format. So if you have two numbers, A comma B, we convert them into A divided by A plus B. And then B is divided by again A plus B. What does it do? It tells us what is each value as a percentage of total. So that way we can easily understand which one is more prominent. So when you convert it here, we have, you know, whether it is positive or negative, the all sentences, it as it, it uh, they are very similar to meaning. That's why numbers are very close to each other. Otherwise, it would have given 0 0.9 uh, for, for the values it was sure in. So this is the model output. Step number two of the pipeline. Step number three, which is converting it to probabilities. We do that with softmax. I used model just for classification, which has a head corresponding just to classification. Let me write a code for model general. And to that general model, 
I am giving tokenized output. Oh, I think I should rename this to tokenizer output. Okay, so I will do this now. Oh, of course, I need to execute it all over again. Let's go to notebook cell and run above cells. Now we say this. Okay, if you check, it is giving a lot more detailed output. Let me open this output in this editor and see if I can short it for you. You will find it has a few important terms. It has something called as last hidden state. It has something called as pooler output. And that's it. So you see, this is what the output of this thing is. Hidden state. Then, you know, compressing the hidden state into a summary. That's the pooler's output. And then it goes to that. A general model of this thing will give us all the information we need. Whereas a simple classification model has a model which contains head corresponding just to classification. But, you know, they are both based on the same problem. So you see, behind the pipeline, it is this four steps. You specify checkpoint, you specify tokenizer, you say transformers dot and whatever the you need. And both of them, you know, you work from same function from pre-trained. So we have transformers dot, the class name, and then the function method name, which is same. And we take input as thing, pass it to tokenizer, which now maps each input to its word, numeric ID. Model converts it into meaning, then learns more things and gives us the final output and this is the entire pipeline so if you check this is the entire transformer pipeline so it tells us about you know so in more detail check hugging face course you know sequence length hidden size i have talked about this so just read through this and spend a bit more time on, you know, understanding this diagram. This is very important. The vocabulary mentioned here repeats quite a bit. As developers, we need to understand this a lot. So this is our behind the pipeline.